Hey everyone, welcome back to Remnant 2. Wow, it's been it's been well over a week since I played last. I had obviously gotten ahead on the videos. But someone mentioned that they said they wanted me to build the Enigma gun. So I, I came back here to Ward 13. You're I was back. still in that council chamber or something. What do you need? So they said... Twisted Arbalist, Supernova, Handgun, Enigma. Fires an electrical stream that jumps to nearby targets within seven and a half meters, dealing 30% reduced damage per jump, applies overloaded, and has a chaos driver on it. And then you could put a mutator, so... Craft the uh, Enigma. Bye. Okay. So, the Enigma handgun. Oh, it's cool looking. Ah. So what do we have for ammo? 24, 25, and 137. Look at that thing. It looks like what I thought the cube gun was going to look like. Unless, no, this wasn't the cube gun. The cube gun was a different one, right? Let's have a look. Some of the things early on talked about this one. Yeah. The one you used the Conflux Prism by defeating that Rubik's Cube dude. This was supposed to be pretty good, too. Something about this one, I thought it. I thought it doesn't use up ammo. Something like Bye. that. Anyway, we'll try this thing out. I mean, obviously, I got all my guns with me. So if I don't like, and it's not upgraded at all, right? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put any money or uh, resources into it right now. Cause what if I don't like it? You know, I might not like it. This is where we were, council chamber. So we're gonna head. We, I think that's right where we left off. We just must have just breached into that door and left off here. Cause look, the door was right there okay so oh, feels like my sensitivity changed <laughs> it's been a bit i'm right, gonna try this gun out council chamber looks like we have two different ways to go in here just remember what the controls are are these doors openable no oh yeah we can still break stuff even though this stuff looks like metal Shit. Press C to use your secondary skill. What is that? Oh, 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 by the way, did I do this in the last one? So, somewhere along the line in that last couple of videos, I got whatever the the missing piece was out in the wild to have to be able to build the alchemist archetype so it looks like it has increases consumable duration and grants 2.5 percent increase to all damage levels liquid cur i don't even drink any stuff i don't use that stuff anyway i i still couldn't talk to the guy get more stories to unlock the gunslinger but i had this like this is one that you have to find out in the world i guess and i didn't have anything to build and i had this one so it was in the last couple episodes we got whatever it was needed to build the alchemist so i built one just so i would have you know a second archetype going i still want to get the gunslinger but every time i go back to him he says oh come back later come back later you know and too much later and uh <laughs> do this so whatever this is is my alchemist skill now you can see Q and C it's gonna oh that oh, that's a cool reload it's obviously limited on this Okay, 
so these are probably the people that like the easiest ones to kill you know but like with my my normal smg i'm just kind of bursting them that's why i'm not gonna say oh my god this thing was so great right off the bat i know that those were weak ones well we're gonna try it out though okay so here's where we started there's something here looks like something there and then obviously something the other way let's see what we got oh okay. shoot this is it. um do i risk using this gun yeah we do <laughs> has gotten, be gotten me better at dodging, hasn't it? <laughs> so, that was pretty cool. I did take some damage. I don't know what that, what I'm throwing down. That C, I guess it's uh, increased duration damage per grants. I'm thinking it gave me more damage or something that I was putting out. I don't know. What is all the hit? <laughs> Why am I breaking all their chairs? That gun seemed to be pretty decent. I mean, that kind of guy I would usually probably switch to my long gun, you know, and and put on the fire mod and go to town on that. Oh, doggy was on fire. This thing seems to work pretty good. And this is... Can you upgrade these? Maybe you can't upgrade these. That actually... You know what? I would actually prefer it if you couldn't upgrade them. Because then you know, like, what you, what you get is what you get. You can build... Build this gun, build that gun, and try it out. This is closed. I think we'll probably have to come back to this. You know what I'm saying, though? If, like, look, the problem is, like, this gun, you can see it's at plus 15, and I think my SMG is around the same. It takes a lot of scrap and a lot of uh, iron, forged iron, galvanized iron, and whatever that next one is now that I don't have any of. I don't think I have any of it left. Uh, no, I don't see it. Anyway, you can see galvanized iron, forged iron, regular iron. I'm on the next one, like hardened iron or titanium or something, and I'm barely finding any. And that's what it requires to upgrade those guns. So say you want to try a different gun, maybe midway through the playthrough or something. Uh, you, trying to get it up to the same Here level that, that you are and, and that the game is at, it would take a long time. The, the only good thing with that is, like if you saw there, So see, this is shocking multiples. This gun would be really good in those, like those sewers and stuff where there was a bunch of people. If you look, I don't see them dropping ammo. Look, I'm almost out of ammo. 
Overheated my gun. Yeah, I mean, it killed faster because, look, he finally dropped some ammo right there. There we go. It's pretty cool, though. Like, for a, a twist, instead of using two guns that have bullets, it's using this electric... Anyway, what I was saying was, say you wanted to um, switch... Oh, I have an actual ammo box. I remember in Remnant 1 from the Ashes, I used to carry ammo boxes with me. I'd drop them down and I'd replace my own ammo because we were playing co-op. Anyway, so say you want to get, like, another gun and try it. Well, because, look at I have a lot of forged iron, right? I've got, I've got a fair amount of iron. So you can... It does, like... Five upgrades with this, then it goes to this one. Five upgrades with this, then it goes to this one. So you can kind of get it caught up pretty quick, I guess. You know what I mean? You can get it up to, like, say your guns are at level 15. You could probably get it up to about 12 with just what's in your inventory. Of course, you would spend all your all your stuff in your inventory, but you could get the gun ranked up to where you could really see if you liked it or not. But say you didn't like it, right? Well, you just spent all your stuff. So you could do that once, and then it would be a lot of, uh... It would be a lot of, like, uh, collecting stuff again. I do like the, the multiple targets hit with this gun. Yeah, at some point, uh, when I go back to, um... Okay. When I go back to Ward 13, I'll check to see if you can actually upgrade this. Like, I'm saying, I hope you can't, because that'll be cool. The, you don't have to... You know, it is what it is. And that's all that it is. That's the other way that we came in. Okay, that goes up there. <clears throat> Just seems to be in this area. They don't drop a lot of ammo for it. else is in here. Yeah, definitely works good on multiples, that's for sure. They're finally dropping me some ammo. Is this one of those where it gives you health? Oh yeah, it's like imbue yourself with health. Did I see something dropped in here? I thought I did. Oh, look at that. Okay, cool. Little fireplace. And back where we were, all right. So the council chamber, this is a, a side area, obviously. I just love how much detail they do. Whoa, look at this. We're outside. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah. Oh, hello. That person doesn't even know that I'm here. I think these, they fly, or did they come in behind? They keep Oh, it's a big boy. They have a nice lunge, don't they? Well, there's a lot of people. Look, he's on fire. He's got like three debuffs on him right now. That's pretty good. Doggy's on dead. Oh. Gotcha! They just hit me with something pretty bad there. It's like killing me because I was on fire. I should have rolled. So the doggy was super low. This this gun, I mean, it's pretty solid. 
you know what I could do? Like, look, you see, there's a couple of them up there. Let's try, just for the sake of argument, let's try our MP60 that we've been using and see how this works. Just want to see how quick I can kill them with this. Yeah, I, I figured, you know how the, you have the different levels of the enemies? These are the low-level ones. Oh, I hear someone talking. Stone of Malevolence. Oh! ammo because of uh, it shit oh wow okay so those bows those bows are super powerful it's not putting me out Let's see if I die again yeah I'm gonna die so those bows are like I, I, I'm not gonna get revived because the timeout on the dog interesting the uh those bows that they're shooting are super strong. But if you saw the difference between the two guns, they're like, uh, you know, about the same. The, the beauty, what I can see of this gun, is it applies overload or a shock charge, and, and it uh, hits multiple enemies at once. So that's the thing. While we're here, let's check out this area. So that's where the benefit over my SMG would be, is that it's hitting multiples at once with the same ammo. So galvanized. I, I saw a bunch of people waiting for me that other way. I really like this world. I think it's really cool. The look of it. Okay, if you look at that, it looks like we probably work our way we're, where we were. We keep working our way through here, around to here, and then to here. So, this is like the way out. Kill! I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you can't upgrade this gun. Because if you could, man, how much more powerful would it get? It's already pretty dang powerful. Oops, sorry. It's already pretty powerful. Oh, jeez. Look at this place. Hmm, what a curious petitioner you are. Not of the Fae, nor of the denizens of this new world. <coughs> Send it away, then. Fey law is not for foreigners. On the contrary, Oneril. Though its rules differ for Fey and non, Fey law applies to all within the One True King's domain. Come, Petitioner. Step up to the podium. Okay. Hail, stranger. I am Savon, speaker of the One True King's Council. State your nature and business for the record, please. Uh, your nature, yes. What are you exactly? You're not one of the, well, what do they call themselves? The Dran, are you? Uh, I'm human from Earth. <laughs> Neither Fae nor Dran. How very curious. Tell us more about this Earth. Oh, Niall, you waste our time. The Fey have more imperative matters that require our attention. Oneril speaks true. Please, Petitioner, briefly state your business. Yeah, briefly. The council. How about you guys briefly? I'm looking for great power. Great yeah. power, you say. And why would you seek such entities? Do you speak of killing the Fey? They did not specify their prey, Nael. In any case, the Fey have been left with only political power. Not power of the kind you seek. Okay. Hmm. Unless you're both wrong, and they seek the imposter. Immaterial! This council cannot aid the petitioner the in any way. 
Given our current troubles, we bear neither the desire nor the means. Okay. What are these troubles you're having? You have wasted quite enough of our time, foreigner. The Fae have far more important concerns than you before us. M uh, hold a moment, Onoril. Perhaps this stranger could be of use to us. The yeah. Fae presently live in fear and uncertainty, stranger. The one true king has been usurped by an imposter, aided by one of those seated before you. But we know not which. As oh. an independent party, you might find clarity where we have failed. Will you help us? Yeah, of course I'll help you. Old, I do not accept. This is a foreigner, hardly more than a mute beast. The law does not allow such to conduct investigations or judgments on our behalf. Have you ever considered, Onoril, that our job is to make the law? Both arguments are heard and deemed irrelevant. We do not ask them to make judgment, only to aid in an investigation that we have voluntarily foregone. The law supports this. She must be the imposter. A great tragedy, stranger. For eons, the Fae and this council have faithfully served the one true king. But alas, his rule has been curtailed. The imposter, Faelin or Faerin or whatever they call themselves now, placed the king in an eternal slumber from which he cannot be woken. The king was attacked in his own chambers, behind this very door. The imposter could not have entered without aid from a member of this council. But, of course, we all have our alibis, as of you can course. Imagine. None of us were here. This has been proven many times. If you can find any evidence tying one of us to this tragedy or to the imposter, then Fey justice might be done. It won't be enough, Savan. The imposter still sits upon the throne. Yet, it will be a step. And a necessary one toward restoring order among the Fey. Okay. All right, you said I'm permitted to accuse, and so, all right. Good. Pick up. So I gotta find evidence. I gotta find evidence of who the imposter is. Okay. Well, it must be somewhere in here. I saw a bunch of things flying over here when I went that other way. We gotta go back through all these guys. I gotta watch those flying ones with the arrows, man. Those. Not only do they do mad health hits on me. definitely killed them faster than the other one but that's normal right this gun kills faster than my smg on fire glad that's over okay that was interesting they have some they have some bite to their stuff man all right so we killed them let's continue on where we were before it's a it's a good combo these two guns just like my smg and this are good combo so what i like to do is when i use my f my hot shot I gotta use this gun for regular to build it back up, and then I can switch back to the other one. No one down there? I heard him. Great. Good 
building it back up. That's where I died before. Oh, I'm reloading. Bad time to reload. That would have been a good time to use the other gun. It would have hit all three of them at the same time. All those archer dudes. I wasn't paying attention, I overheated the gun. Look at the dog's health. Jesus. Oh, thank you. Yeah, bad time for the gun needing to be reloaded. That was really bad timing. When I dodged that and I came up to shoot that last little bit that he needed, my gun was out. <laughs> you know, I use the other one so much, I, I kind of know when it's going to run out. Not this one. You're like, well, just look down. Now, that's easier said than done in the middle of a fight. So they drop stuff up here. Scrap it. Go through clear this way. Yeah, it seems to be a decent combo between these two guns. I know you guys like me trying different stuff out, so... Definitely slower to kill than my big gun on those guys. Look at that. All of them in a group there. That's where this gun really shines. When you've got a whole group of them. Okay, so, oh, and I used my, that silicrum to get up to 10 levels of heart. I don't remember if I did that in between the last one or you guys saw that already, but like I said, it's been a while since. So I think I should drink this and then go out there and fight everybody. Probably with my other gun. This gives me like 60 seconds of like recovery. All right. I don't make I'll be you Alchemist level one. So I'm I'm leveling up that uh, second archetype now. <laughs> guy and I can hear him. Ah, oh, shoot. Come on, sprint, dude. Look at that fire, how it quickly kills those flying ones. Like this, oh, I was intentionally overheat again. Yeah, that other gun is good, but wow, this one is really, really good when I've got the ability to turn on that fire. Okay. Still hear things like they back in here. See if I can drink this again and get that 
get healed up without using one of my heart thingies. Maybe you drink too much and you get all like blurred vision and dizzy. It's slowly healing. Just triggered something again. That lunge they got going. Legit. Seems like that I went back in there, I've re-triggered him. Let's not go back in there. Okay. I think I've I think I triggered them again, at least the ones inside. I can hear Yeah, there he is. Gun is really good. Some of those archer dudes. Doggy's try <laughs> trying to roll it out, man. Trying to roll it out. All right. So we got we got our F fully, our heat fully recharged after killing them. See anything on the mini map? Pretty cool area out there. All right, now we're gonna dip back in. Almost get was getting ready to shoot. fun to use, if nothing else. Someone up in the air. It actually, I didn't see that person up in the air, but because I saw the deflection go up there, it kind of gives you a, a bit of an indicator that someone else is there. <laughs> Electrified. Whoa. Don't eat the exploding balls. Nothing in here, huh? This isn't looking good. No, it's not. Pretty big area. Reload the Enigma. Good 
doggy. Alright, so we got like a little roundabout there. This the thing about this gun though, it's definitely range restricted. Just as they're drawing back their bows. Oh, we got a big boy here. Dang it, I wasn't paying attention to my overheat cycle. Leave my doggy alone. That right there is where this handler comes. Man, you send your dog out to stop them from chasing you. And if it works, you get time to sit back and just shoot. I like that. Damn, out of room. All right, so. Scrap. I'm trying to get him. There's a lot of things in here. Is, there, is this? Is there? These rooms make concern that there's like a puzzle or something to do in here. This was that little area. Maybe there's some something down in here. Oh, that I didn't think they could walk up here because they ran the other way. Nothing down. Nothing to see, huh? Some galvanized iron. Gun really works good at clearing the, the groups. Your primary one takes the most damage. What did it say? It drops off like 20% or something to the secondary target hit. pretty late on that dodge. He, look at the health he hit me for. Holy cannoli. That dude, that dude's strong. That guy is strong. So that gray area is what you, you're going to heal that back over time, but we'll go ahead and use some hard action. Okay. A lot of debris in here, man. There's a lot of, it's a library. It's a library. It's a library. Okay. Literally nothing in here, huh?
council chamber. Look at this thingy. Another one of those drinkable things. That means there's probably going to be a crazy fight out there. Dude's dead right there. A tome of knowledge, maybe? Bam! I forget where we were at on our traits. So we finished off footwork and we are working on spirit next. Okay. Add the old spirit trait point. So we're doing good. I think spirit would help with this if I'm using this Enigma gun too. Another library. Is this, am I back around to the B? Oh, I am, look. Okay, I definitely missed something then. That's all right. We'll figure it out. The truth. We have arrived at the mountain. Community 13 day. Adepts to reject all law. <coughs> See if they say anything in here about an imposter. <coughs> the only good among your people. Ground five spears to my throat. I spat on her. Hmm. Words left me. So. Wow. Oh my god, look at all this. That's a lot. That's like a book report right there, man. Hey, what's that? Oh, it's not a. Uh, it is a portal, but it looks like a mirror. Should we open this up first? That leads us back to the beginning. So we got this mirror. <laughs> There's no A in the word mirror. Yeah, you know, some people say mirror. All right, mirror, mirror on the wall. Bark extract. All right, we are definitely in some crazy overworld here. In, I'm in combat? Oh, I, oh! We've got some other dudes here to contend with. Better hit this checkpoint while we can. The only problem with that is that that other world, it, it just got, like, reactivated with all its people. It said if you... Oh, the council tribunal. Okay, it said if you use the uh, the checkpoints, it it reactivates everyone. So, but he also fills you back up too. But if you don't do that, I would be have to go all through that again. So whatever. More enemies, more better. Wait, this is like the tribunal in a different gloaming thoughts of the one true king. I record these thoughts of history of the Fae for a sake. Who knows? The Fae are not fit to rule. Look at this. So it's all this. All this. All this. Someone, someone at the studio is an author apparently. They really like book reports. I mean, if you're totally into this stuff and you want to read the lore... That's cool. Oh, Jesus. Alright, this is not... I don't, I don't think this is going to be good here. Doggies are stuck in. I think that 
that one and that one are still gonna spawn because the one two here spawned. Anybody wanna drop into that glorious ammo? Huh? Look. Here they come. Oh, someone heard me. Someone heard my cries for ammo. We're in some like parallel world because this looks exactly like that other chamber. Except no one's sitting in here. Oh, jeez. Oh, dude, that's some special dude right there. Look at him. He's got something going on. Special cane or something. Whoa, dude, pustules for days. Well, I used, I used my my heat modifier there. I don't know if I really had to, but I was in a bit of a panic. Okay. What about these fools up here, anyone? So if you look here, there's things identifying them like sigils oh yeah Oh, when you rank something up, it takes you back to full health. <laughs> I was on fire and burning my health away. Here we go. on fire now if those fools dropped anything they probably dropped into that water out there I just used a lot of ammo there's still more up none of you f <clears throat> dude this is weird looking walking on this <coughs> Look at this, the reflection. Oh, look. There they are right there. So we're like in the upside down world. You see they have their, their sigil there is different. That one should be that one. Oh, that is weird. Total optical delusions of grandeur. Is there any more of those dudes up there? No, it looks pretty good. Famous last words. No? How do we get in there? Is there a lever? Huh. Pretty sure we're supposed to go in here as you can see on the map there's something in there am I supposed to walk onto that thingy the podium
No. Okay. All right, so it says I've got the thing up here. It said something. Let's see. Oh, I think... All right, so we go through the mirror. You'll be transported to the council tribunal. Within the tribunal, you'll encounter a room that bears a striking resemblance to the council chamber. However, it'll be filled with enemies. Make sure to defeat them all before proceeding. Afterward, inspect the bases of all three pillars. You can collect the tablets. <laughs> Aha, I need to get closer. Okay. Once you've placed all three tablets in their designated spots, you will gain entry to the throne room. I'm guessing it's up here. Because they said, remember, they said only we, we have access to the king's throne room. So it's got to be up here somewhere. Hopefully it's not back down there. Maybe it's on the side. I gotta get closer to get the thing to trigger saying you can do something here. Oh wait, do I go back out of here now? Once you've successfully placed all three tablets in their designated spots, you will gain entry to the throne room. Inside you'll find the one true king. Oh, maybe I leave here. Maybe I leave here and go back to the other one. You know? It's the only thing I can think of. Whoa. Oh, this way. <laughs> I thought, like, where'd the door go? Where'd the door go, man? Go back through said Mira. Go back to the original throne room. Hopefully. I just have like a, a basic outline over here because I'm, I'm trying not to miss um, secrets, but I tend to miss a lot of secrets. Should I checkpoint it? Oh yeah, you can see in the distance over there, they've all respawned. Over there. Home over there. All right. Let's see if there's a place to put these things in here. Maybe I put them on where they're sitting? No, they've already got sigils there. All right, let's go up and see if there's a spot to place the thingies. Interesting. Not there. It doesn't say where to put these things. I was guessing it was... I'm hoping it's not in that other area. Oh, here. No, that's where I talked to them. I gotta be able to place these things. So it said, afterward, upon inspecting the bases, you can collect the three tablets. Aligning these tablets correctly requires matching them with their corresponding reflections. Oh, that's what it is. Back in the other area, I have to remember the, the reflections were off. Oh, my God. So by saving here, I think I may have reactivated all those people in there. Oh, no. That was a lot of them. There was a lot of fools in there, man. All right. I think I'm supposed to take them off and put them back on, but in the order of what they are in the reflections. Because all three of them were, were off. There wasn't, there wasn't one reflection that was correct. I did see that. Jesus, what the heck, dude? 
That one dude killed me? Okay, so... Wow, close quarters running like that was not a good idea. Now the dog already revived me too. I should have went to melee, but... Alright, this is uh... I may have made it very difficult for myself by being an idiot. Yep, they're all back. Welcome back. All right, doggy, be ready. Yeah, okay, they're all this is they're it. all back. Oh, I did not see that arrow point. die right now the doggy's not going to be able to revive me because I'm on timeout I think oh, poor doggy he's taking the brunt of those arrows okay yeah don't do what I did don't leave the area and save and come back because Just overheated on that last bullet, but I was going for it. I was going for it. Okay. What about that one weird? None of them dropped anything though, huh? Alright, so turquoise one here. Red. Purple. Got it! Cue epic music! Dang, dude! <laughs> Dang, the throne room's got the music going big time. There's something purple up there. some possibly parkour to do we gotta be able to get up there to that assassin seal assassin's dagger oh look it's in the back of his neck Assassin's Dagger. Inspect. Oh, look who it was. Is that purple or red? They left their sigil on the dagger. Well, it looks like an... It's like red eyeball. Like they need some Visine or something. 
pretty sure that's all we do. It's on, on the, with those arrows. I can't see them, so you you kind of can see them start to draw their bow back. It just start, I'm just gonna start dodging. Just start dodging. All right. So we can help the Fey now by telling them who the assassin is. It's the sigil with the eyeball. I'm gonna see if I can see in here. It's not the purple. It's the red. So it is red, the red eyeball. That's the, the guilty one. That's the imposter. Now, I did read in that little thing I was referring to, there's like multiple things you can do. You can do what I'm going to do, which is find the imposter. You can fight all three of them. Let's check this out. Listen to this. I'm scrolling to the end. It says, okay, so there are two other options, right? So one option is the one I'm going to do. That's the main thing, which is identify the imposter. The two other options are the first option involves crafting the assassin's dagger melee weapon. However, if you go this route, you won't be able to complete the council chamber quest or receive the ornate blade. The second option entails facing all three council members. If you manage to defeat them, you'll earn the Fey Protector Signet, which is a ring that boosts health and stamina by 10 and reduces encumbrance by five. That's a good sounding ring, but I I want the quest item, which sounds like a, a maybe it's a melee. I don't know. We'll see. Should I save? Probably should. Yeah, so there's th literally three options to do here. You can do the quest, which is what I'm going to do. Or you can uh, craft the assassin dagger melee weapon with Nimmu. What is Nimmu? The assassin's dagger. That's the that's the stuff I'm using. I got one. That's my upgrade material I'm using for my guns now. All right, so it is the red eyeball, which is the center person. You return. Okay, so it said once you've come. Oh, that's once you've pinpointed the imposter. It's time to return the council members interact. When prompted, select the choice. I'm prepared to make an accusation. Okay. You said I'm permitted to accuse under certain conditions. The news about who it, it means you're not fey, and your life is easily forfeited. Please. I have news. Tread carefully now, Strain. If you accuse one of us, you must have evidence new evidence to support your claim the penalty for frivolous accusations against the council is steep i guess you would you would miss accuse someone and have to fight them all and that's how you would get one of those other things are you prepared to make an accusation according to our laws i am i am prepared to make an accusation wait if i don't have sufficient evidence you kill me <laughs> ah so i knew your usefulness was not a lie who was it then? It was this one. Unreal aided the what? Preposterous! It's the dude. I won't ask you for proof of such a frivolous accusation, for there is none you could have. Give dagger. The proof is that you stand to gain the most from the one true king's current state. I found this in the king's neck. What is that? It has nothing to do with me. Is that not your crest on the dagger, Onoril? Onoril. Uh, uh, fake, then. The foreigner is casting aspersions on my character. Your character needs no external aspersions to expose it. Savan, 
Would you please confirm? I do confirm. This dagger is I thought it was her. Guilt. She's the one that was like totally against this. What I don't understand is why. You have always sought refuge in the law. That law became a mockery. A facade to protect him. With the king removed, I hoped we could finally rule as was our intent. I could not know that imposter would be one and the same. I could not know this beast would prove at all resourceful. May you die a worse death uh -oh. than all of us. You have broken both Fey law and our trust. Yeah. And must now face the consequences. Face them. Oh. Okay, I guess I probably didn't want to fight those guys if that's the kind of one-shot ability they have. Do I get to sit up there now? I He's should gone. Not be grateful for the death of any Fey, but I am relieved. Here, stranger. Take this as thanks for your service to our council. Now I go. Cool. Stranger. The ornate blue, that's cool looking. There is much to be done, and you need have no part in it. The ornate blade, let's look at this thing. So this one's damage is 204. Weak spot damage plus 105%. Stagger modifier. <laughs> It doesn't seem much better than the one I got, but dang, it looks good. Yeah. Look at that thing. It looks good. I don't know how they these games, they do their damages and modifiers and all that stuff. 205 versus 51. And I was able to get that other one like a long time ago. Yeah. I'm just seeing if it... Like, it seems faster, like, I'd definitely be able to get more hits in with it than the other one. Look at staff too. Pretty cool. All right, that's it for the council chamber. We're going to head out of here and continue on in that crazy, cool, Vermintide-style world. All right, everyone, thanks for watching.